Hello everyone. Today let us learn about SED. So what is SED? SED is called Stream Editor. So SED command stands for Stream Editor. What this Stream Editor means? This command will get lot of input files and it will edit those files as per our requirements. So said command performs lot of functions. Like you can view the file content, you can search any content, you can find some content and replace and you can do insertion and deletion in the file. And said command also supports regular expressions which allow it to perform complex pattern matching. So said is really wonderful. If you understand said lot of file level operations you can perform using said. So now we have a question in our mind. We have the VI or Vim editor where also we can edit our files. So what is difference between Vim editor and SED? SED can perform any operations on file without opening the file. So the most important part of SED is you don't need to open your file. You can perform the SED operations like said operations without opening your file itself. What is syntax of said command? So SED has SED options, then commands and then the actual file name, the file where you want to work with said. So SED options, then commands and then the name of file itself. So instead of wasting single minute, let us do everything practically. So said command can be, said command can be used as a cat command sometime just to view the file. So how to use cat command we all know that if you have a file then give cat and your file name. So whatever the content in this file I am able to display here using cat command. Let us use said command instead of cat. So said just this quotes single quotes and then your file name. So what you can see the same file using the cat command you were able to open same thing you can do using the said command also so what is exactly difference between said and cat really there are lot of difference cat can only use to open the file but using set using sed you can play with the file content you can edit it you can replace it you can do lot of changes using said command so now there is lot of variations with the said command. So the simple said command is said your single quotes start single quotes close and then the file name. Now what you want to do you want to print the content. So there is your option P in the quotes only if we write option P what is happening now see. One time said is displaying and again one time it's printing. One time it's displaying and one time it's printing. So what is happening here? The same content is repeated two times. So you are having 10 lines. Now you can see 20 lines. So said is just printing the same line which it is displaying. Now what you want to do? You want to print it but only once not twice. So again you can use minus n option or hyphen n option which is printing the lines once. This is a sample which shows that you can view the content of file also using said command. But as I explained you, said can do many wonderful tasks. We'll see each lines accordingly. So now what you want to do? You want to see only the last line of your file. What you can do? Said hyphen n and then dollar p. Dollar is for the last line. So let us see what it does. So you can see only the 10th line you can see. So if you want to display only the last line of a file, you can use $P options with minus N. It will display the last line of the file. Now, the next thing, if you want to display from a particular line to particular line, what exactly you I mean here, let us see. So suppose you want to see from fifth line to 10th line so 5 comma 10 p so what you are seeing now from 5th to 10th line 
only you are displaying here suppose you want to display from 8th line to 10th line let us see so you can see only a to 10 line now next is if you want to delete some lines while displaying so you have the option d how to use it suppose you are doing 10 d and let us run so what you see 1 to 9 you can see 10th line is now not visible to you suppose you want to delete more lines from 5 to 10 let us see now so you can see only 1 to 4 you are able to see but there is one thing which we need to understand this d option is deleting not deleting the actual content it's only deleting at the time of display but suppose if you want to delete the actual lines how to do that that part also i'll show now if you want to delete the original file itself then hyphen a small i how to do that let us do so said hyphen i 5 to 10 what this will do this will remove all the lines from 5 to 10 in your actual file so now let us see the content cat test.txt so now you can see there are only four lines 5 to 10 is already deleted but suppose before deleting if you want to take the backup of the file what you can do i dot back so now if you see here you will see what you will have the backup but yeah in in our case let us see once so suppose if you want to take the backup of file before deleting it so now we, we have already deleted from 5 to 10 now let us delete from 3 to 4 d but before deleting we want to take the backup so now let us see do you have the backup or not so here you see you have test txt dot backup where all your lines are stored but if you see the actual file you can see you will have now only two lines because other lines are deleted so using hyphen i option you can delete the original file itself and if you want to take the backup i dot backup and then you can delete it now second is if you want to find some content and replace the content how to do that using a cd command so let us see we have a file etc password this file this file is having many contents you can see now let us do one thing first take the backup of this file before doing anything so cp cp this and underscore back and now we can play with it so suppose cat etc password this file has many places you see root is written root keyword so if you see root here root here root here so we can see root is mentioned here three times now what you want to do you want to play with the content of this file means find and replace so we have a syntax said s in the quotes s s means substitute so value of root i want to replace with devops class so what this command will do said s root devops class file name your actual file name substitute root with devops first word occurrence with new word let us see it practically so sed then s slash root and that with devops slash close the quotes and your file name is etc password so now let us see what output we got you can see first occurrence of root is replaced with devops but other roots are still available here so what this s option is doing it is substituting only the first occurrence of the new word so wherever root was written the first occurrence of root was replaced with devops now you don't want only to replace the first occurrence instead of that you want to replace all the occurrences of that keyword in your file so what we will do this time 
slash g in the last. What is g? g is called global. So you are telling that replace root with DevOps globally. Globally means each and every occurrence of root should be replaced with DevOps. Now let us run this and see from beginning. So you see it's replaced with DevOps, DevOps, DevOps and this means that if you are using option slash g this will replace the complete occurrence like all the occurrences in the file but still these are not making changes to your original file these are just displaying the changes in front of you but suppose if you want to replace the changes with actual new word then you have to use hyphen i option so Instead of touching our etc password file, let us touch some other file here. So we have a file this one. Just move this file to some interesting name. Test sed dot text. And now we'll play with this file. So in this file, what we want to do? We want to replace this DevOps keyword with suppose Linux. So what we will do, there are two ways. First way is sed hyphen i, then s is substitute, and then you want to do DevOps with Linux class, maybe. Slash g means globally in complete file, and then your file name is test set dot text. So now let us open this file and see what happened. So here you see Linux class, it has replaced it with Linux class. Here also DevOps has been replaced with Linux class. So if you are using hyphen I option, it will replace. But if you want to keep the backup before replacing, then hyphen I dot back and then the actual file details. Now, the next thing is what you want to do, you want to search something in the file. Like wherever Linux is written, search the file. So what I am telling sed and then sed option and then searching the file. So the search keyword, what you want to search the line? The search is with Linux. What you want to do with Linux? You want to substitute in this line, means the line which is searching with Linux. In this line, what you want to do? You want to replace this mandatory with necessary necessary and then slash g and your file name your file name is test sed dot set so here i missed uh, slash in the beginning of the line while you are searching so just put slash linux and now let us see what happened so wherever mandatory was written in this line linux it has not touched so this is just used for searching the line so it has searched the fifth line and then it replaced mandatory with necessary. So here if you see necessary is placed at the place of mandatory. So what is this first keyword before substitute line? Whatever the keyword you want to search the file and then you want to find and replace. So now I hope this is also clear. Now the next section is insertion and deletion with said command. So what you want to do? Let us see first this file test sed dot text what i want to do before first line i want to add a header to this file and at the end of this tenth line i again want to add some header so there is the option here called insertion and deletion with set command so insert a new line insert a new, new line so how to do set then line number i is insert and then your file name so what is the syntax if you want to change in the file sed hyphen i then suppose first line and i is before i is before means before first line what you want to do you want to put maybe this word and then close and then just put test sed dot text so what it will do it will insert this hyphen hyphen before the first line so let us run it 
and now let us open the file and see what is the content so what you can see before the first line it has added this hyphen hyphen in the file now what you want to do after 10th line you want to add something so what you will do in this case sed hyphen i instead of i keyword here give the line number like line number 10th and a a for after so in the after what you want to do you want to add instead of this maybe suppose you want to add this has 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 so now let us again open the file and see what has happened so if you see so it has copied so this this line is assumed as the first line so first second third fourth fifth six seven eight nine ten so after tenth line this has been added so now i hope you understood how to add the line before and after so i option is used for before adding before particular line and a option is to add after the line so this that's it about today's said so instead we have learned many things now in coming lectures we'll be doing more projects related to said and other other options as well thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time thank you